to Balance Talk. Woo! Yeah. Okay, so I'm here. Nice meeting you guys again. Um, I'm Rosita, the best soccer from last week. Yes. Uh, to be really <laughs> honest, I think they did this on purpose. But anyway, I'm Rosita, and the only Bruneian who has ever appeared in Korean YouTube shows. Woo! Wow, it's a big claim. Today, Famous. Yeah, so today, I'm so excited to be here because today I'm going to lead the show yes. with the help of my co-host. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay, now I'm going to pass over to gorgeous, gorgeous Anna. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name is Anna. I'm the resident Korean person of the group. I'm a content creator. And clearly, we have one extra new person today. Where is Ooh. Daniel? Where's Daniel? Plastic surgery. I don't know. Yeah, plastic surgery. <laughs> <laughs> I am Daniel. Daniel. So, we have technology to change Yeah. So, who is this? Charming young man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you. That's Daniel. This chincha. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Please introduce yourself. Same so, face. Same face. Same yeah. Eyes. Same vibe. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Same MBTI. Uh -huh. But my name is Stefan. I'm the real British guy with yeah. the real British accent. I'm in Korea doing modeling and acting, and now I'm doing talk shows too, and I'm psyched about it. But hey guys, how's it going? Today's your boy Brand, aka Let's Go B Jones. As you guys know, I do modeling, acting, a bunch of cool stuff here. Follow me on my social medias and uh yeah, I'm excited to be here on Balance Talk on Korea, Nan. Oh my God. <laughs> anyway, so anyway. what are we talking about today? Revealing our topic for today, delivery culture. How often do you order, order like, delivery? Yeah. Maybe like once a week. Once a week? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say for me too, once mm -hmm. or twice maybe. Do you guys cook? Yeah, I cook a lot, really? but I cannot get the ingredients that I want here. It's kind oh. of <laughs> <laughs> beans. Wait, I can't get the baked beans, man. I can't get them. <laughs> but you also order delivery as well. I do special occasions. If I had a long day, I feel like I deserve it. Then I get delivery. Okay, <laughs> wait. We're gonna ask you. Uh -huh. What's up? Is delivery food better or the food that your fiance cooks for you? Oh. Which one is? Is she is she watching this? Yeah. Is she watching I mean, right I mean, now? She can make like five meals, so it's good. Like sometimes you know you gotta you want to spice it up. You know you want a little. A little Chinese food here, some little ilbon. You want some chungguk? You want some Korea? <laughs> wow. You want some Indo? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta have a so little. So answer the question, which is better? <laughs> hey, y'all gonna get me killed. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know y'all gotta have a new host next week. Yeah. Cause Brandon gonna be dead. Brandon gonna be dead. That's even more suspicious, man. Okay. I think there's one right answer. Her, her food is the best. I love it. I am so excited to eat it for the rest of my life. You want order stuff? It's usually mm. like fried chicken or. Pho? But uh, sometimes pho, or That's like very yeah, like Chinese food, yeah. or like chok bar. You know, what about you? How often do you? How many times a week do you order delivery? Um, not really. When I'm broke, I don't really order food. So and you cook mostly. Yeah, mm -hmm. mostly cook. Ramen. Eh, excuse me. <laughs> is it better than ramen? <laughs> I don't know. What what y'all cook in Brunei? I don't know. So, eh, introduce me. Soge Hase. Did you watch my cooking show? <laughs> Clearly, no, he didn't. <laughs> Is there any difference what you notice from like getting delivery food in your own country mm -hmm. compared to when you moved to Korea? Yeah. I mean, America's expensive. You gotta tip people. Yeah. Why I gotta tip you doing your job? In Korea, there's so many restaurants so close to each other and so much competition. Yeah. It's cheaper, but in America, there's everything's so spread out, so you don't mm -hmm. have as much of a variety of getting mm -hmm. food. Main delivery food in Brunei, like what um, do they get? Um, I guess like people order pizza, you know, like KFC chicken. Mm -hmm. <laughs> KFC, you know? yeah. Mm. And then sometimes people order order like milk tea or something. Mm. <laughs> yeah. What was the? Is there any food We're delivery Korean. food what you got really sh surprised mm. or shocked at? Service. You guys give service here. Service. So he means mm. like extra free food that yeah. comes with your order. Mm -hmm. There are loads of, usually each business, because they will obviously try to get more business, mm -hmm. they will uh, give out free stuff, mm -hmm. free sites, or like, if you please write us a review, then we'll throw in something extra, mm -hmm. or like, yeah, they will do loads of promotions like this. Oh, okay, oh. we have a little ding dong on the screen. Okay, now already ding dong. Okay, so yeah. first question. Can you please read it? I now? will read it. Mm -hmm. How long are you willing to wait for your food delivery? Mm. Mm. One minute. Mm. One minute? minute? Yeah, but my food ain't there. They better know instant transmission, oh Dragon God. Ball Z. <laughs> I want it. <laughs> Instantly. Ever called to complain, like, where is my... Yeah. If it's, like, really, really late, and yeah. I mean, yeah. if it's, like, a storm or I know, like, there's a big accident and obviously, yeah, I know there's yeah. circumstances. There was a period, like, in Korea during December when it was snowing. It snowed mm -hmm. so much. Yeah. And like, there was, like, a notice on the delivery apps, like, hey, like, because it's so snowy and mm -hmm. it's so icy, your delivery, there are less drivers on the road mm -hmm. and your delivery might take much longer. So. Uh, also, How long sometimes did it take? when it's soccer time. Soccer? Soccer, yeah. yeah, during soccer season uh, yeah. because there's so many people ordering delivery yeah. because they're watching the game all together uh, wait like up to an hour unless it was something really special mm. <laughs> app do you usually use 
Coupang Eats. Coupang Eats. So it's the only one in English. Uh, I have another <laughs> question. Mm. Because in Korea recently, there's an mm. app, Coupang Eats. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They recently got rid of the delivery fee that you usually have to pay. Mm -hmm. um, they said it's every, everything's going to be free delivery. Mm -hmm. So would you rather pay delivery fee or would you rather pay a tip to the driver? I if I have to choose, if I have to pay regardless, then I would personally rather just pay personally to the driver. Next question. I'm going to let Stephen read it. Yeah. yeah. All right. So... Mm. Are you obligated to write a review if you received a free service with your food delivery? Mm. Yeah, so like I explained earlier, in the mm. Korean delivery <laughs> app services, a lot of the businesses, they will encourage yeah. the customer, please give us a review, write us a review, and we'll throw in a free like can of Coke or like mm -hmm. free aside. And so if I, for me, personally, if they have given me something to like like that, then I will definitely like yeah. write a review. <laughs> but you do that too? I do, of course. Yeah, yeah. I feel like mm -hmm. if we don't do it, they're going to remember our address. Mm. They're going to mess up the next order. Oh. Wow. That's okay. the way. <laughs> oh, it's beeping. Okay, next question. So today's topic is, if the food that you're ordering is five minutes away, would you go and walk up and get it? Or would you rather just have it be delivered to you? Two, one, one go. Done. Hey, as you guys know, I got to pay for this wedding, right? So I got to be hustling. <laughs> I, I got to be working, right? I got to be coding, editing. I got anime to watch. <laughs> I got YouTube videos to watch. So I'm a very busy guy. If the yeah. delivery is five dollars, nah, you're still gonna you're still gonna order it. Nah, to your five dollars. Yeah. If it's more than two dollars, I'm walking then. <laughs> I'm gonna walk that thirty minutes. <laughs> I'm a big walker. I love walking. I love I walking like, too. Yeah, we have the kind of European walking. It's vibe good for your health. About like, us, we a walk five everywhere. minute walk is good for your health. Like, I you swear. Need to get out of the house. Oh. In Europe, if it's an hour walk, we walk. Yeah, okay. me like I will always. <laughs> Five minutes, like, that is absolutely mm. just not acceptable. Sometimes because it is <laughs> embarrassing. High five, um, it's, it's embarrassing, and the delivery guy will judge you. If no. he sees that you're ordering <laughs> yes. from a place five minutes away, he will, you will judge you. 100%. Right? Yeah. So, like, literally, it, like, you know, it's with such a, like, small city with, like, everything crammed onto one street. I can, my op current office tell right now, there's a peony jump, like, literally right below me. Mm -hmm. So it feels like if I want, if I'm really hungry and I want a snack, that that's what I will go and do. But do you usually do, like, delivery? Like, when do you decide to do it? You know, oh, like out tired. Drunk. If I had a long tired. day, drunk, <laughs> ah, drunk, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, so back to the topic. Yeah. Though, um, have you guys? I'm sure you will have experienced mm -hmm. this, but you know when there's like a set minimum delivery, like like a yeah. fee, mm. and then it's like, oh, but if you order like two dollars, three dollars more, then you you can get free delivery. Mm -hmm. So how? Find another place. Yeah. Find, find another place. I know what I, I know what I want. But I'm not getting any more. What do you guys yeah. use? Like, do you guys like you know try to reach the minimum by ordering more or mm. just pay extra pay the, for pay delivery? The delivery fee. Get extra. Oh. That's that's dinner for tomorrow. But so then you, you, you order more for, to get really? the free extra. Extra, yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah, like you said, leftovers. Yeah, let's it's time for us to wrap up, and like we're gonna, we're asking you guys to give us your best comments, best questions, and then we're gonna yeah. pick our favorite. It's the culture of the Korean bali bali uh, impact the, the delivery services. Service. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, nobody. Everyone's very impatient. Mm -hmm. Like we're not like the relaxed European, like slow, chill. Like when it gets here, it will get here. Like yeah. everyone's super impatient. Everything has to be efficient. Yes. Get here as fast as possible. Mm -hmm. That's embedded in Korean culture and within Korean people. Yeah. So I think that does have an impact impact on delivery. Mm -hmm. Notice it after living abroad, do you notice people are way more impatient here? Yeah, with yeah. delivery in particular or everything? Everything. everything. I, I oh yeah, it can be a little stressful. Uh. I've just, I've never been that rushed to do anything mm -hmm. in my life, I feel. And then I came here and everything, even yeah. if it's simple things. like Koreans have a lot of reverse stressful. culture shock when they move to places like the UK or Europe because everything's yeah. so slow. slow if yeah. you try to make a hospital appointment, they're like, in two weeks, maybe. Mm. I'm like, mm. no, I need to get the seat like <laughs> right now. Are you not a pali pali person? Nah, man, because when I was a teacher, that joint was annoying. Like, <laughs> hey, you got to grade these people. I'm like, bro, ain't nobody care. Like, <laughs> Yo, I can grade it later. Ain't nobody care. <laughs> But are you more used to it now that you've lived here for a few years? Yeah, I'm used to it now, but I'm just like, man, y'all got to take a chill pill, like, <laughs> chillax and smell the roses. Like. What? Are, how is it in Brunei? Um, in Brunei, it's super slow, especially in terms of parcel delivery. Like, mm -hmm. for here, like, you get your delivery in two to three days, right? Mm. But in Brunei, it will take you about two to four weeks. <gasps> or weeks. even more, yeah. Aww. For example, wow. like AliExpress here, like you can get it faster. But for Brunei, like you can get it like after three months. Okay. Uh, so it's time to choose the yeah, best the talker. Best talker. We gotta so as the best talker last week, yeah. as a um, representative for people who are introverts, <laughs> yeah. I did it today, guys. Yeah. So, yeah. 
please um, vote for me after a few shows. Okay, I need to rest. <laughs> okay. okay, sure. Shall we get the results now okay. of the of the votes? Who are we talking? Brandon. Stephen. Brandon. Brandon. Oh, but oh, Stephen, you're pretty up there. You got Grace. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> But anyways, you guys, if you guys like these type of videos, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and leave in the comments below mm -hmm. what kind of contents we should do next time. So thank you to all my co-hosts, everybody out here. And bye, uh, bye you guys. guys. Thank you so bye. much. Pineapple goes on pizza. No, Dry cereal. Cereal.